Yeah, um, all those factors obviously went into it. Um, you know, basically, you know, we had a third and one earlier. We threw it, and you know, we had kind of had that ball got knocked out of our hands, so that was incomplete. You know, we obviously have some quarterbacks that are a little bit injured, um, and so all those factors kind of go into it. We converted one earlier with Malcolm, uh, but give them credit for making a stop. You know, that's that's kind of how we look at things, and. Uh, um, you know, I'd like to call a, a play that works uh, on that situation next time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, those, those are kind of in our plays, so we kind of keep those to ourselves. But, uh, you know, there's certain plays that we do give them chances to check it, and other times where, you know, we, we call them call and runs. So there's alerts, there's call and runs, there's RPOs, there's a lot of that within our scheme. So uh, we try to use it on all of our downs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, like I said, we had a couple quarterbacks that were injured going into the game. So all those factors play into it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, third and goal uh, from the six. That's, you know, that's what we call four point play, and obviously we didn't we didn't convert on that one. Um, and you know, when you have a penalty down in the red red area, that that's it's tough to overcome. You know, uh, first and goal from the twenty. That we you know, there's a lot of those situations that are that are a little bit uphill. So, um, you know, we ran the ball to a screen. So, you know. We, and those in, in that situation, it's really the penalty that kind of put us back. Um, and, you know, in the third and goal from the sixth, you know, we had an opportunity there. So um, certainly we we got we got to try to be as, as consistent as we can down there and, and improve that efficiency in the red area as far as touchdowns are concerned. Yeah, I mean, I think that was the third one I was talking about where we were throwing it. So, um, you know, and we didn't get it. So, you know, I think all those, how the game plays down down to the wire, you know, the, there's definitely a lot that a lot of factors that go into going for it, not going for it, you know, so. You know, I thought that for a guy that had, you know, quite a bit of time off and, uh, you know, came out firing, uh, we had a couple penalties that, you know, we were able to overcome in the first series and uh, to score a touchdown. I thought it was an impressive drive, to be honest. Um, yeah, like I said, they're coming off of an injury and not really being able to practice how he wanted to. I thought it was a credit to him and, and as far as, you know, his his preparation. And, uh, you know, there's another drive during the, during the game where, you know, we had, turn, uh, had a turnover. They got the ball. We stopped them. And, you know, had a really impressive touchdown drive, um, you know, over 90 yards. So th- those two drives are really impressive, um, you know, from our perspective. And uh, like I said, he was able to overcome some some uh, negative plays offensively or, you know, and convert third downs, which is, you know, that that's what the quarterback position is about. So um, we're going to use those as, as far as uh, things to build on because, um, you know, the more drives we have like that, obviously, the, the better off we'll overall be. It was just, he, you know, we'd like to have a back play call decision and everything, you know. So just a play that, you know, we obviously uh, fortunately didn't get hurt on. It was a momentum deal. Uh, but we can't we can't just give them the ball after a, a, a getting the ball, you know, from our defense doing a good job of, of taking away. You know. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot of factors there. Um, you know, Mike was able to to get some plays downfield, and I think a lot of that has to do with Jalen's production. Um, 
and you know same thing it's it's protection making sure we can get you know get some guys downfield too uh but there's some you know we had some targets to him downfield it's just unfortunately you know he's covered um we definitely are are looking to try to utilize him horizontally and vertically you know Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think all that's part of our our evaluations and research on him. You know, he's he's a very productive college player. I mean, we we love that about Jalen. And you know, he's there's a lot of different looks that he's seeing and some things that you know we just got to continue to to get him to improve on. And then we got to you know be able to let some balls go downfield. You know, when he gets a one on one matchup, um, I think everybody's aware of his speed. So. You know, some of that kind of has to do with it, too. I think, uh, you know, he's going to be a big factor in our offensive production. So between Mike, between Jalen, you know, ideally when Devontae, you know, comes back, there's, you know, a place for, for everybody. You know, Miles had some production two games ago. Um, you know, we've, we've just had some injuries back and forth where, um, you know, Mike's been consistently out there and for him to perform like he did that, you know, that, that's what we expect from him, you know, so it was, it was, uh, he was able to catch it when it was thrown to him. I think he had one target that wasn't caught. Um, but you know, that, that's kind of the production we're looking for out of him. Yeah, well, he knows he, you know, we, we expect him to play better. He knows that. He, he expects a lot out of himself. That's why we love him. And um, he'll bounce back. I'm not worried about that. Um, you know, we'd like to be able to put some of those plays behind us and move on. And uh, he knows that. He's learning from it. And, um, you know, we're expecting a, a big game from him and, and production like we always do, you know, out of that position. Ideally, we're we're balanced, you know, and um, you know sometimes when a run doesn't go for you know a bunch of yards, you know maybe there's you know a pass outlet, but also there's some sometimes where we call a run and there is a pass, you know, a run throw is what we call it. Um, so stat- statistically, they they end up in the passing game, but for us, you know, we have that organized a little bit differently. It's a throw, but we also have a run called. Um, sometimes it's checked, sometimes it's at the line. So those, those type of things are sometimes how the game ends up playing. You know, they end up playing a certain defense and uh, we have a certain call and, and the ball ends up getting, getting put in the air. Um, so ideally though, it's pretty balanced. I mean, we had 48 throws and no sacks, so I um, thought the line protected pretty good on that. And um, had a couple, you know, miscommunication things at the line of scrimmage that we'd like to correct. Um, but yeah, certainly, you know, we'd like to like to run it, and like to throw it, do whatever we can to put the ball in the end zone. Um, I think the way we were playing here to start the game was, you know, pretty productive. So. Um, uh, we had the backed up situation that didn't turn our way. We had the turnover, you know, um, the next possession at the end of the half. You know, we, we, we were kind of in a position to score points with the, with the long field goal. Um, and then, you know, came short at the end of the game. So there's a couple situational plays we'd like to play better. That's really the most important part about it. Well, you know that. You know that answer. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pro ball. I mean, they know the sticks, we know the sticks, and we either got to get there, or we got to go to another player. And uh, you know, we decided to go to Mike, and we're counting on him to get that extra yard. And unfortunately, we're short, you know, two times on that. Uh, one in a situation where, you know, we're backed up where the spot was the spot, and you know, we 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 have we have to punt that football. So. Um, but it, it was a big series because they get the ball, they end up throwing to Marvin, and, you know, they score. So that one yard ended up being seven points. And uh, our guys are aware of that. Uh, we, we harp on that quite a bit. Mike knows better. Um, and then, you know, if you can't get to the distance because of the defender, then we've got to make another decision, you know, to throw elsewhere. You know, we've got to build plays that are, you know, covering the distance to get to the sticks. And, uh, you know, we've got to understand that you know, a multiple situations, not just that play. You know, that that's a third down specific, you know, play. It's uh, it's not a, a normal down play. The, the sticks are, are definitely part of our awareness from a play call and from a route running standpoint. Yeah, if it's a, you know, there's zone and man philosophies on that. You know, in a man situation, they're really not giving you, you know, a catch and run. It's almost like, you know, the guy's playing you man to man. It's a catch and a hit. In a zone situation, you know, we, we do want to catch it and run to the, to the stick. So it's a matter of recognition, you know, and that's the game. It's the defense shows you one thing and does something else on the snap. We got to recognize it within, you know, short amount of time that that's that's part of us coaching our guys uh in that situation you know to to look at certain keys to be able to diagnose man or zone yeah i think you know i think all that stuff kind of plays together you know if you're running it well you'd like to keep running it if you're throwing it well you'd like to keep throwing it and You'd like to be able to be balanced enough where you're doing both of them well. Um, they have a game plan too, and uh, you know our job is to try to take advantage of what we feel like is going to move the ball the best.